Hey, welcome back again, guys. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SanFX YouTube channel, and this is the CPU throttling test on the latest Android 12 port stable port from Pixel 5 on this Redmi Note 7 Pro, as you can see. And I'll be stopping here. The performance is going to be better in this ROM, as you can see here. It's the very good performing ROM. It's ported ROM, but still, it's very good performance as you can see this Android 12 version with 5th October 2021 latest security patch and kernel used here is 4.14.250 Azure these demands plus kernel and latest build Saturday October build just today or yesterday's build I have flashed yesterday night itself and testing for it from long 10 hours and this is the video on this Redmi Note 7 Pro Android 12 Pixel 5 stable port and if you're first time to this channel hit down the subscribe down below and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and this is the new clock widget you can customize a little bit in this ROM it's stable one every feature is now live and let's check out whether we get direct video call feature or not you won't get here any direct video call feature as of now that's one thing is missing as you can see in the beta ports it was there but in stable ports it's missing let's see whether the call recording feature is available or not that is also be missing in this rom do note these things when you are you are flashing this rom and also during flashing i faced a problem like after the first boot of flashing i did not went to this setting up settings and I reflashed using the older firmware then it's got flashable in this smartphone do note this guys with latest Indian 12.5.1 firmware it's not working that one thing you need to be not and coming to like DRM info here you get wide one level one certification such that you can watch all the OTT contents in HD and it's fluid I want to mention this out it's a little bit fluid but beta 5 was a little bit better than this let's see and this is the quick settings panel all the toggles are working fine you can edit some of the extra toggles the auto brightness sensor I will show you guys let's see if I turn off the light the auto brightness sensor should work as you can see it's going to be working fine now if i turn on the light it's working it's everything is working fine even no issues during calling also no echo or anything like that in this rom and coming to like speed test here i have like 100 mps plan with geo fiber i am getting up to 90 which is okay even with mobile data also i check it out it's giving up to 10 to 50 and the LTE plus it depends upon your local networks and coming to like Geekbench score here if I go into history just now I run the score as you can see the single score is 492 and multi score is around 1400 which is good for Redmi Note 7 Pro with this Azure Demons plus kernel which is really good all the payment application let me show you the Magix model is pre-installed in this ROM but for some reason i hidden the play store and even magic side also i done but for some reason as you can see cts profile is not getting passed if you know do comment down below how to pass that such that others will understand and this are the rom settings i will show you the settings here dark mode is also working fine you will get pitch dark condition and battery settings as you can see you get all the usage it's okay adaptive preferences are given even the extreme battery saver all the android 12 features are included as you can see you can choose the apps when to use essential apps also you can choose from here that's how it's working it's fine the rom is you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and let's wait for pixel experience android 12 on this redmi note 7 pro also that is coming very soon if you want to use right now you can flash this pixel 5 ported rom on this redmi note 7 pro and wallpapers are also plenty are given comma live section is also given living universe also given and plenty are given even wallpaper colors and basic colors also you can choose from here dark theme themed icons it's still showing beta yes upgrade also given 
and commit like widgets how to adjust this you need to go into the widget section and from here to the clock you get five widgets you need to select like this it's touch and hold to move a widget for example if i here you need to select which type of clock you need for example i already selected this you can edit also from here this how the new cool widgets of android 12 is present on this rom let me go into the settings and in the sound and vibration everything is working fine no problem here vibration and haptics also you can enable or disable and accessibility menu as you can see this is present in this rom and i like the android 12 accessibility menu because if you press like this you will access these buttons without using this volume buttons and even brightness also you need not to slide there just if you press here you can toggle these settings even you can lock the screen and even you can move to recent apps volume up and down even you can wake the google assistants and even you can power of the smartphone that accessibility menu in android 11 was little bit difficult to swipe when you are in the gestures but in this rom i mean android 12 build you can easily access using this shortcut that's the one thing i like in android 12 and it's a handy feature if you don't know this before use it guys it will be going to the game changer and still we get screen lock and fingerprint lock no face unlock it's a little bit taking time as you can see tap a second delay but that's how the settings in this rom everything is working from privacy location settings safety and emergency password and accounts all are working fine and this is the ported from pixel 5 it's really good and in the app settings you get all the basic settings here default apps assistant screen time unused app special app access everything you can customize and also see whichever app you want like picture in picture which is available and you can choose from here even display or other apps you can modify system settings device and app information and everything you can choose from here or you can get a notification while installing such apps and this are the quick settings panel you will get this access of camera access and mic access when you use camera or any app which are going to access these settings then you will be get a green color indicator that's working fine no problem here and that's it guys this is like very good rom as you can see it's fluid enough you can also take a screenshot from here also select the text and copy to wherever you want and coming to like bgm i have not installed any gfx tool and coming to like uh, graphic settings here you get smooth plus ultra and hd and uh, if you want you need to use the jfx tool and this accessibility menu settings will help you using this toggles even while gaming also i'm using gestures you can't adjust till the gesture bar length these all the settings i explained everything and coming to like camera here nikita gcam is pre-installed in this rom if you want you can use any gcam ports or also you can flash anx camera as you can see it's everything is working fine in the camera application also this is how the pixel 5 ported rom on this redmi note 7 pro the latest october build and these widgets are also cool to see and handy features like this accessibility menu and some of the android 12 core features are also been updated and this this is how guys the rom and if you like the video give it a like and guys many people are just watching the video not subscribing to my channel subscribe it guys you will be getting similar kind of videos and tech related videos in this channel and thank you for watching see you in the another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now